Hey guys, it's Crystal aka Queen BRZ back with another video for you. So I read all of your suggestions on what I should do with the 350Z and I finally decided what I wanted to do. So stay tuned to see what's in store. After reading a lot of your suggestions, I took a lot of time to think what I really wanted to do with this car and I finally decided that I want to do an OEM Plus build. So this car is already in really great condition and I love it so the previous owner took really good care of it and I just want to make it better than it is. It has a little bit of miles on it and I think I want to make this my daily driver and have my BRZ as more of my track car. So for today's video I have a lot of little things that I've gotten for it just to kind of revamp the look and maybe um, replace what was kind of worn down and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Let's go to the back to show you what I have for my car. Alrighty. First things first, I have this convenience net and it is from the factory and it just goes in the back of the trunk here and attaches to the little knobs um, just to keep everything tight and secured um, inside the trunk area so it's not flopping around everywhere. Just that little thing. Next, um, the shift knob that I have right now is in pretty good condition but the leather is starting to get worn down and I don't like that so we have a new one right here that I'm just going to go ahead and install. And while we're on the shift knob, I do have a new shift boot. Looking really nice. I have a new replacement antenna because if we look over here, um, that is missing. So I just wanted to get that in there, kind of revamp that look. And then there's this um, OEM pouch. It just, I guess, for storage, but it is for the Z's and it does represent that there. And little things for whatever, your drogas or tampons, whatever, just kidding. Don't, don't put drogas. <laughs> and then right down here, we have some new uh, floor mats. Pretty good, pretty good, like them. So I actually have one more thing to show you, but before I reveal that, um, let's get these little things put on since they are pretty easy. So this is the current floor mat that I have right now. Um, it is really run down and beat up because it has 170,000 miles on it. So just comparing the two, it's super dirty and gross. And you can see the little Z emblem is just gone, not even there. And then this is the new one that I have. So exactly the same, but obviously new. And it even has the original tag on it and everything. So yeah, it's ready to be installed. This is super quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Cool. So really easy, and then I'm just gonna take off the tie and we will be all set. Awesome, now let's get the other side. All right, this one is not as horrible, but still dirty. So just looking at the two here, um, obviously this one's a lot cleaner because it's new, and the emblem here is kind of peeling off a little bit so might as well just have the new one in there awesome that was easy the next little piece I have here is the shorty antenna by Perrin and another really easy install it just threads right into the antenna outlet here Pretty easy and it looks good. So the next thing that's gonna be replaced is this carpet cover right here in the trunk. Um, I don't know what happened here. It is really beat up and dirty and gross. So um, I have another one coming on the way. It was about 60 bucks, so not too expensive. But um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted when I get that. But you can see it's just really nasty. Now that that's out of the way, we'll move on to the cargo net. And super simple, just need to find which way it goes. 
Cool. We just attach it to the four corners on each end. And then one more corner. Awesome. Super quick, super easy, and adds a little different feel and a nice look to it. Puff said serves a good purpose. While we're in the back here, the next part I want to replace is this right here. As you can see, the Z is really chipped and looking horrible just from the heat coming down on it for years and years. So um, don't know when that'll happen, but that'll be the next thing that I do too in this back area. The next thing that I'm going to be replacing on the inside here is the shift knob and also the shift boot. And the way we take that out is just by kind of cupping it in here. All right. I hate that it's not like any normal shift knob. So we have two um, little things attached in the back. They're plugged in. We have this right here, this white one, and then another one here. I don't know what it's called, but it's two things. So we just unplug that one. This one's already unplugged, I think. And it's going to look like that. So from there, we're just going to go ahead and get a grip on the bottom. Right down here. And then I can go ahead and start removing the shift knob. And so now I have this one off and we'll do a quick comparison. So this one's the old one and then this is the new one. As you can see, the leather is really worn down on this one and it just adds, it has a really shiny plasticky look to it. And I'm gonna do my best to preserve this leather as best I can. I do have leather cleaners at my house. So yeah, guys, take a look. Now let's get this new one on. Okay guys, so I should have had the camera on filming me trying to fiddle around with this and get the shift boot on. But let me tell you, Nissan takes the cake for being the most stupid shift boot install ever. It's just, they make it so difficult and all these extra little steps. And then the shift boot that I had didn't have all the holes that it needed. So I had to make holes and then they just kept popping out. And it was just a hot mess. Finally got it together and was like, I'm not gonna redo, undo everything and then film it. Um, film me redoing it, no, it's just too much. So yeah, great job Nissan. Good job on that one. I got it on here. I have this last little ring part that I need to install. Oh, right here. Um, I got this off of the old shift boot and it has like a zip tie and I don't really know how this goes on yet. So I'm going to fiddle around with it when I get home um, and see what kind of tools I need to get that in there. But yeah, guys, it's good enough to install for now. So I'm just going to keep going along with it, um, plug everything back in, and then I'm going to get the new shift knob screwed in there. So stay tuned to see how it looks. Okay, everything's plugged in. And since I don't have that ring, it's going to look super weird. But it's okay. I'll fix it, and then I'll let you know how it looks after it's completely done. And the leather is so stiff too, it looks really like, help me. I'm sorry, leather. Awesome, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> it's a little funny. Um, it does need this little ring to kind of hold it up and be that support. And the leather needs to be broken in a little bit too, I'm sure it's super stiff, but it looks a lot nicer and brand new. So I like that but I'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like once everything is completely done. I have one more thing to install here. And the way we're gonna do that, it's really simple. I'm just gonna push in on this little knob, take this whole thing off, except I can't get it all the way. There we go. And then I'm gonna squeeze these right in here. Ugh. This is so awkward. Okay. I'm gonna have to angle this a little bit. Cool. Another really easy install, but now I have this in here for whatever I need. It opens up and I have just a bunch of papers. And then if I need to put anything, little snackies in this pouch. It's good. I like it.
Alrighty guys, so that's basically it for the installs today. I do have one more thing to show you and it's gonna be right over here. So I think this is my favorite thing that I've done to the car thus far, and I think it's really gonna add that nice, clean OEM plus look that I'm going for. Also, I did wanna add probably some colorful hardware. I'm not sure what color yet, but I think it'll add a really nice, vibrant look to it. And yeah, guys, so that's what I have for today. Um, I am gonna keep you posted on the rest of what I'm gonna be doing update-wise for this car. And yeah, let me know what you think with everything that I did today. And um, yeah, I did have one more question though. Um, what do you think of a name for this whole 350Z vibe? So right now I'm Queen BRZ over with my BRZ. Should I be Queen Z33? King Z33, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'd love to hear it, and I wanna get a new kind of spunky look for 2019 with the 350Z here. So, yeah guys. So, that's basically all I have for today, guys. Um, as usual, all I ask is that you like and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for more videos. And it's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna evacuate, but do let me know in the comments down below what you think about what I've done to the car thus far, um, what you think about a name, and also if you have any suggestions for me. So I'm all ears as always, and yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys think. But anyway guys, until next time, Queen BRZ out. I fall in love. So the next thing I'm gonna be, oh, God. Sorry. I fall in love too fast.